If you're anything like me, you have a collection of reusable masks. Well, don't get rid of them just yet. The highly infectious BA4 and BA5 subvariants are driving up the county's hospitalization and case numbers, moving San Diego County into a high COVID-19 and activity level. This new variant is called BA5. Is it actually evades the immune system quite effectively, uh, a little more uh, tricky to get under control. And that's why I think we're seeing more cases on the rise. San Diego County entered the high COVID-19 community level Thursday. This means masks are returning to some indoor settings. San Diego Cardiac Center's Dr. Arvin Narula. It looks like more COVID cases are on the rise. We're seeing more hospitalizations. Starting Monday, indoor masking will be required at all San Diego Unified School Districts and offices. Offices. This applies to students and staff in summer school programs. This is set to last for at least two weeks. From what we know from the data are effective. We know they're effective. The problem is everyone has a little bit of this burnout. You know, we're tired from wearing it and everything like that. So masks are effective. They work, but it's hard to be compliant with it. If you had a family member in the operating room, would you want your surgeon wearing a mask or not? According to the Sweetwater Union High School District's website, vaccinated staff and students are strongly recommended to wear a face mask. Unvaccinated staff must wear a mask when in the presence of others. When the school year begins Wednesday, Joanne Fields says they are collaborating with the Sweetwater District to encourage wearing masks and weekly COVID testing to prevent the closing of school campuses. We do not want campuses to close down. We know that it becomes a hardship for working um, parents, working families. We know that the students want to interact in person. We want to um, have preventative measures that the campuses stay open. Masks will also be required at military installations in the San Diego region. Naval Base Coronado and Naval Base San Diego posted notices on their Facebook pages stating mask mandates will take effect on Monday. The county does not currently have a mask requirement in place. However, it strongly recommends mask use following the California Department of Health guidance. Dr. Narula says they are working on a vaccine for the newer sub variants. It still has to be FDA approved. Stephen Kirsten, 